Hi guys, and welcome back to the Accidental Time Traveler Legacy Challenge um, for The Sims 4. And this is part 24, I believe, yes. And um, so I was playing a little bit off camera, and when I got this call from Jasmine, which is Corey's love interest, and it's her birthday and she's having a birthday party and invited him so here we are um, so I thought I think I need to record this um, I did prior to this she I did work on their um, affection for each other I guess uh, if you want to say um, and got the romantic up a little bit and their friendship for some reason with her, she's easier to romanticize than she is to f be friendly with her. I don't know why. That's just how she is. So, okay, we're going to go with it. Um, but I just want to say, yeah, she needs to rethink her outfit here. Um, yeah, wowzers. <laughs> so, anyway, oh, anyway, if she is the one and she ends up marrying him uh, we, we're gonna have a real big makeover on this Jasmine character that's all I got to say so anyway this I have never really done like this before it's um shows the timer birthday party for her um no you're not gonna go play Blitcher Block oh no you need to be friendly and nice to her. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and make her our girlfriend. Um, back at the house, I did uh, did add on to the upstairs. It's not quite done, but he really wants that computer. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so it's almost done. So he'll have a place of somewhat his own. And then I was thinking that maybe uh, after the girls, the, his five sisters move out, I would um, actually have, well, and when the his dad passes away, which he's sadly close to doing that, but um, I would have his mother move upstairs into this apartment and they would have the full downstairs because they would be having, you know, planning their family soon. So I thought that it would be fitting for them to take over the downstairs. So, um, yeah, she is just loving this. Um, let's have him take a, oh, stop. She got the hand. What? What? <laughs> She's leaving her own party. Oh, what? This was lame. Lame, I tell you. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm going to have, um, whoops, I'm going to have Corey go back home. I guess I can just click on this little home icon. Um, wow, that was a bust. My goodness, we were there all of five seconds. That, that was sucky, I must say. Oh, well. Wow. Okay, here we are. We're back. Um, I think what I'm going to do really quick is I just sold a bunch of their stuff that they had on them. Um, you know, plants and stuff that Kara had just harvested. And that, um, and I have a little over 5,000 simoleons. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the upstairs um, for him. And then I'll be right back. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we're back. And... I will show you the upstairs that I did. So basically, I just made a kitchen, which ended up being a lot bigger than I really in intended it to be. But um, ah, there's a book up there. <laughs> anyway, I really like it. Um, I don't have any cupboards just yet. Yeah, I ran out of smolian, so eventually we'll get that up there. Some cupboards up here anyway. Um, and then I made this like little living room area. Um, obviously, it's going to be an open floor um, plan. So yeah, this is the couch. I'm went for a black and white theme, um, kind of. Uh, and I'm I don't know that I like the the walls. I had a hard time deciding what colors I wanted to go with, but ended up with this um, tan, beige, whatever. I don't I don't know. So I might be changing that. But I have this um, TV and a stand and a couch. And there, um, his dining room table is right here. I mean, he does have a fully functioning kitchen um, right now. And then here is his bedroom and bathroom. Again, it's black and white. 
<clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah, so I just was able to purchase a bed and nightstands and lamps and not too much, you know, the basics um, that he would need to get by and a little closet-like thing and mirror, you know, yeah, not too, not too much, not anything big just yet because um, I'm lacking the smillions right now, so <clears throat> yeah, that is that. Okay, so let's have, you know, this is really, I wish he could throw that away, but he can't, so. I'm going to have him, let's see, maybe we should call over or go on a date with Jasmine. Maybe we'll do that. I think we're going to do that and see because he has this aspiration of um, finding his soulmate. And maybe it is her and maybe it isn't her. Maybe we will have to find somebody completely different. So we're going to give her a call right now and invite her over. Um, or, we don't want to plan a social event, but, I guess, let's invite her over. There she is. They did not leave on very good terms of this, um, a birthday party. And so, why is she going all the way up there when she has the shower? She needs to clean it, though and then take a shower. So, um, the birthday party ended up being a big flop in my book. I mean, it didn't even, it wasn't even anything. They were there for five seconds. <laughs> so, um, let's invite her over and then kind of, oh, she's busy right now. Well, that's about a load of crap. <laughs> um, let's have him goodness gracious, what could we have him do? Um, let me throw this way. We were collecting stuff. Oh, the kids are all done. The girls are all done with their schoolwork, or, you know, from school. And, um, I don't really have anything for him to collect because that's what he was in the middle of doing when he got the phone call from Jasmine but oh he he didn't harvest this stuff let's just harvest have him harvest this stuff um, to get some simoleons and there's some froggies to be found These girls are not happy at all. So now he can go home. Look at now she would you like to come over to hang out? Sure. Jasmine Diamond would like to come over to hang out. Okay. Sure, why not? Okay. So, we're going to pause this. And and we are... Oh, Travis is home. He brought home 686. So, you know what with him? I honestly don't think he is going to make... He is level 7 of his career. And I don't think he's going to um, make it. Because there's like, what, 10 levels? Or is there only 9 I don't know, but he is, he is, um, yeah, getting up there in age. I mean, I don't know. He needs, he just, he probably should have retired long ago. Um, there is no food in this house. Let me have Kira stop visiting with your kids. <laughs> And serve some dinner. Uh, oh, chicken stir fry. Um, let's have you do that. And we're going to have you go take a nap. And Corey, um, you can have a deep conversation with this girl and kiss her hands. And we'll have you flirt. And we will have you 
confess attraction and we will have you kiss her. Go on and kiss the girl. Oh, okay, sorry. Little Mermaid <laughs> for you all. Um, anyways, let's move on. I love this living room. It makes me so happy. I love this blue and silver. I don't know why. It's so pretty. My gosh, what is the deal? Just go over there. There's plenty of room. Ugh. She doesn't like bugs. See that? She does not like bugs. Oh, but she likes a cupcake. Cupcakes. Aww. Smoocheroo. Okay, I'm going to, we're going to go out on a date, I think. So let's ask her. Um, It is a Friday night anyway, right? Let's ask her out on a date. And there they go. He actually has to go out on two dates um, to go to the next uh, level of his aspiration. And he has to have a girlfriend or boyfriend. So we are going the girlfriend route right now anyways. So we're going to go to the blue... Uh, uh, no, we want to the jump. We want to go here. The blue velvet. Okay, so we need to flirt three times with this girl. And we will... Where's flirt again? And flirt. And then sit and talk to your date. What? Speed it up, speed it up, go. Oop, not that fast. Sit together. And sit and talk to her. And we could brighten a day. So that, and then joke with your date. Funny. I tell a dirty joke, you naughty, naughty boy. What? <laughs> oh, three times joke. Okay. Um, tell her knock knock joke. And tell her joke about politicians. Hope she's not political. I love these old people dancing. How funny. That is. That's what I thought. Don Lothario. And. Gavin Richards. They're old now. They're grooving. They're grooving. Why did that? Those jokes didn't count? What? Knock, knock joke. Okay. Have deep conversation. We're going to have a deep conversation. And they are going to kiss. Kiss her. Wowzers. Okay. And we are going to ask her. Uh, Corey has reached level five of the charisma skill. Awesome. We, oh, we got to kiss her passionately first. Uh, then we're going to ask her to be our girlfriend. I'm not seeing it. Um. Well, I don't see it, so 
it isn't there. Ask to be girlfriend. Yay! Jasmine just became the girlfriend of Corey. He now has a girlfriend. Okay, I have a boyfriend or girlfriend, and now. Uh. I still can't get where it isn't giving me the. They must not be high enough up in their um. Their romance. Here it is. Passionate kiss. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we are all the way up and he needs to go home and do all of these things here. Go to the bathroom and <laughs> hygiene and hunger. So we will, uh, yes, end this. And he got the gold medal. Legendary date. There's something special in your Sims household event inventory to help him remember it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have him. Come up here and oh my gosh, looks like somebody threw up all over his sink. <laughs> um, he's gonna use that and um, he's going to take a shower and actually, whoa, whoa, hold up. He needs to, he can go up here and take, use that and have a shower. What are these girls doing up here? Um, serve dinner. Of mac and cheese and also I need to have him claim this bed claim why did they go for the shower I didn't even uh you tell him to go to the bathroom first and then go straight for the shower, right? I, what is he doing? He needs... Okay, fine. Fine, go eat. I wish there was a way, I guess. I, oh, I wish there was a way that... I could put a door at the bottom here like close it off. I don't know if I would have enough room. Close it off, put a door, and then he could lock it and keep everybody out for right now until they all move out. I don't know. We can have you come here and uh, take a shower and go to sleep. My God, it's harder than heck to get in there, like, without it zooming in and out. And the girls are going to age up here in four days, so that's just around the corner.
speed this up. Do you see that she took a shower and her bar hardly even moved up? I, I don't, I honestly don't, I don't understand it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Um, not a lot happened. The only thing that happened really was Corey went on a date <clears throat> with Jasmine and she is now his girlfriend. And the next thing he needs, he needs one more date. So we're going to go on a date with her. And I mean, it might not happen in the next part, but <clears throat> excuse me. I seem to have a frog in my throat this morning. But anyway, he um, he will go on a date with her, and I think he's going to propose to her. Um, now, they won't actually get married uh, for a while because these girls are still here, and it's a full house, and we can't have anybody move in just yet. So, And they have four days till they age up, and I have this feeling that Travis here... <clears throat> My goodness, I apologize. My voice does not want to cooperate today. Uh, so, but I have this feeling that Travis, um, yeah, he might be passing away the same day that these girls age up, which would be fitting because he aged up when they aged up to teenagers so they all if you remember had a birthday party on the same day so wouldn't it be um i don't know ironic i guess whatever celebrate life as birthday and then die for <laughs> old age i don't know we'll just see we'll have to see we'll have to see so it could be an eventful time but anyway the minute they go into young adulthood these girls they definitely will be moving out I had thought about maybe keeping you know one or two around you know but I I don't know because I don't think well I don't think Corey's going to have a big family you know maybe two kids or something but I thought that with Kara she was only supposed to have one which was Corey, and I got the idea she'd have one more, and look at she ended up with five girls. So <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, he could be in the same boat. I would just, uh, but if we keep one or two of these girls around, that won't be possible. He can't have any more than the, um, you know, what is allowed in the household. So. And I say he like he's going to be having the babies. It would be Jasmine having the babies. So. And she would definitely be getting a makeover, for sure, for sure. But anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, that's in the works for the next um, couple parts, is to go on a date with Jasmine, to propose to her, and then to have the girls age up and move out. Um, all five, or at least three or four of them move out. And then have we have Mary, you know, Corey Mary Jasmine, so... Yeah, I think that is it for this part. So um, I thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.